tension or anxiety. Essentially, it's just this, your intelligence has turned against you. Once your intelligence turns against you, well, <laughs> there's no place to hide because it'll find you everywhere and get you whether <laughs> you're in the best place on the planet or you go to heaven. As long as your intelligence is against you, there is no way you will ever have a wonderful life. So this is most important to understand. All these different levels of suffering that... The primary aim of meditation is to create a certain distance between you and your physical, mental and energy bodies. Your mental body is a major manufacturing unit of karma. If you see that your mind is the principal source of karma, you are on the right path. Once there is a distance between you and the mind, there is a distance from the past. Now all those memories are available when you need them, but they no longer have the power to rule you. The aim is one day to create a situation within you in which you have the living experience, I am not the accumulations of my mind. Now your karma has no power over you. This is the first step towards freedom. People are going through in the name of stress, tension, anxiety. These are all just different manifestations of your intelligence working against yourself. The worst form of this manifestation is suicide. That is, your intelligence has definitely turned against the life that you are. So this is a fundamental thing that you must take charge of your faculties. Right now, if your forefinger starts poking your eyeball, there is no safety for you, you're going to lose your sight for sure. So this is not something that you allow, this is something that has to come. So, this is not something that you allow, this is something that has to come into our daily life. This is in engineering, that you engineer yourself in such a way that everything that you are works for your well-being and in turn for everybody's well-being. One of the best things that you can do for this world is you become a wonderful human being. For this to happen, you must take charge of your faculties, particularly the faculties of your mind, and also of the body.